Welcome to the Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is our first. Thank you very much. It's our first, first show of 2018. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's. Happy, happy, happy New, New Year's. Year. It's going to be a good one. I love New God. Year's. It's, it's one of my favorite holidays that involves getting together with friends and screaming at a clock. Yeah. So far, so far, my resolution mm -hmm. is to stay inside until June oh, because it is cold. And I want to salute all the brave audience members. These heroes. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. These heroes. They did it. They stood in freezing temperatures just to get in here tonight. And tonight, we salute them and we remember their friends they had to eat to survive. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, but snap. Brutal cold is tormenting the U.S., folks, and reports say the worst is yet to come. <laughs> the worst is yet to come, by the way, was also the theme of my New Year's Eve party. <laughs> the National Weather Service has warned that we're in a prolonged period of much below normal temperatures. For my younger viewers, that's what we used to call winter. <laughs> prolonged low temperatures. Apparently, that's news now. <laughs> Plus, Times Square had the second coldest New Year's Eve celebration on record. It's true. The ball did not drop so much as shrivel up and rise back into 2017. Oh, it just, yeah. where are I? Come oh, on down. Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. <laughs> Fine family joke. And <laughs> it's not just New York. There are winter storm warnings as far south as Florida. And right now, it feels colder in parts of Canada than on Mars. <laughs> Still no evidence of life in Canada. <laughs> Speaking of new lows, Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> we're wondering. <laughs> we're wondering. <laughs> we're wondering when I was going to get there. Donald Trump tweeted, in the East, it could be the coldest New Year's Eve on record. Perhaps we could use a bit of that good old global warming that our country, but no other country, uh, was going to pay trillions of dollars to protect against. Bundle up. <laughs> See the logic here. Because Donald Trump's cold right now, that's evidence that the Earth is not getting warmer. Just like because Donald Trump is president right now, that's evidence we've never had a competent president. Oh. And there's no evidence. It's only what's happening now. The church of what's happening the now. The church of what's happening that's right. now. That's <laughs> right. And this morning, Trump went on a tear, tweeting nine times? Nine times, including this one. Crooked Hillary Clinton's top aide, Huma Abedin, has been accused of disregarding basic security protocols. She put classified passwords into the hands of foreign agents. Remember sailors' pictures on submarine? Jail. Deep State Justice Department must finally act. Also on Comey and others. Remember sailors' pictures <laughs> on submarine? I, th I think Grandpa's reminiscing again. I remember, I remember when licorice came in a little pouch with a blue stamp on it, and nickels cost a dime. <laughs> All right? Jail. <laughs> but I just want to take a moment here to point out that this is the President of the United States tweeting, and in his tweet, he described the Justice Department as a deep state entity because it is so corrupt it is unwilling to throw his political opponents in jail. That is a serious charge. That, that kind of thing you can never, ever make lightly, and of course you could never take back. I'm kidding. <laughs> Today, the White House insists Donald Trump does not think DOJ is deep state, <laughs> despite tweeting otherwise. Yes, Sarah Huckabee Sanders said that this afternoon. Who got to her? Could it be the deep state? <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? 
No, nah, he was just talking out his butt. <laughs> then Trump took credit for something he had absolutely nothing to do with. Since taking office, I have been very strict on commercial aviation. Good news. It was just reported that there were zero deaths in 2017, the best and safest year on record. Trump took credit for no one dying in a plane crash this year. <laughs> that explains his new campaign slogan, Trump 2020, you got to tell us, didn't you? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Trump also... <laughs> yeah. Tulsa. <laughs> Tulsa. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Trump also took aim at his favorite punching bag, the free press, tweeting, the failing New York Times has a new publisher, A.G. Salzberger. Congratulations. Here is the last chance for the Times to fulfill the vision of its founder, Adolf Ox. So, that makes two Adolfs he's pulling for. <laughs> and... Woo! Woo! And... Woo! Happy New Year! Woo! Fresh start. <laughs> it continues to give the news impartially, without fear or favor, regardless of party, sect, or interests involved. Get dot, 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 <laughs> dot, 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 impartial journalists of a much higher standard lose all of your phony and non-existent sources and treat the President of the United States fairly so that <laughs> the next time I and the people win, you won't have to write an apology to your readers for a job poorly done. Gleh! <laughs> now... Huh. I haven't done that in a while. That's a tough impression on the throat. I've got to toughen up. Now, he's probably saying good luck, as in it's 2018 and Donald Trump is still the president. Gleh! <laughs> Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now, it's your turn to thank me. Click subscribe, and at the end of the next video, I'll thank you again.